Today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to install the new GB162 in a two boiler cascade. Everything you need comes with the frame kit, apart from the wall hanging bracket, which you will find in the boiler carton. Stand the boiler upright and then using the handles on either side of the boiler base, lift and mount each boiler onto the assembled frame. Align and level the boilers using the set screw at the rear of the boiler and check with a spirit level. Unpack the pump group and remove the gas valve. Apply approved PTFE tape to the gas mail thread and screw on the union connection until gas tight. Assemble the remaining section of the gas valve. Unpack and mount the pump groups under each boiler using the seals and union nuts provided. Tighten the flow and return unions. Install the non-return valves onto the pumps and then connect the interconnecting pipe kits contained within the cascade frame kit using the seals provided. Tighten all compression fittings ensuring that the pipework is correctly aligned. Lower the control panel to access the condensate connection. To gain access to the new improved siphon connection, remove the transit piece from the condensate prior to installing. For the purpose of this video, we'll be installing a low loss header. For those of you installing a plate heat exchanger, this will not be required. Install the low loss header to the flanges using the bolts, nuts and seals provided. Twist the quarter turn locks that retain the cover to the electrical connection box. Remove the lid and set aside. Connect the pump cables to the power and modulation connections. Access the pre-wired 230 volt cable, then feed it to the back of the boiler for future connection. Install the flow and return header insulation, front and back, securing with the clips provided. Connect the permanent live using the power cable supplied to the local isolator. Make the necessary connections for the control system used and tighten all cable restraining clamps. Replace the lid of the electrical connection box and fix the boiler control back into its original location. A new feature of the GB162 is the overpressure flue. Its smaller diameter allows for increased flexibility when installing in areas with restrictive ceiling heights. You may need to cut the flue header pipes to size. The boiler is ready for commissioning once pressurised with water. And that's it. We hope you found this video useful. And if you'd like more information, please visit our website.